Kevin has been portraying the role of troubled Emmerdale Vicar Charles since the character made his first appearance on Christmas Day in 2020. On screen, the actor's alter ego on the ITV soap has struggled with his love life, as HES had an on-off romance with Manpreet Sharma, Rebecca Sarkar. For years, he had a brief dalliance with Andrea Tate, Anna Nightingale, before she was murdered and his ex-wife Esme, Eva Fontaine, is also on the scene. This is certainly worlds away from the life he has built with his partner and renowned DJ Nikki Beatnik, whose relationship didnt get off the most conventional of means. Is Kevin Mataran married? The actor first met his partner Nikki back in 2003 when their paths crossed at Fashion Rocks with Khalees at the Albert Hall. This was a brief encounter and nothing romantic ever came from this but in 2012, their paths aligned once again and a lot had changed in their lives. They were introduced to one another at a Christmas party by For Life actor, Nicholas Pinnock, and recognizing one another, they hit it off and haven't looked back since. After 10 years together, the actor and DJ are not married but they have progressed in other ways to show they are committed to one another. This includes their son Harvey, who was born six years ago and the family live together in their home in Lewisham, London. As well as looking after their child together, they are also the owners of two dogs named Gracie and Purdy who also live in London with them. The pair share some aspects of their life on social media, with Kevin and his partner regularly featuring on each other's pages. Earlier this week and in view of his 10,500 followers, the actor posted a selection of clips of him and Nikki spending the weekend with their son. Captioning the short video, the soap star wrote, while I make the most of being home for the weekend by cooking our Sunday roast. The weekends are so important for us to be together, collect my thoughts and recharge. Hope you're all having a good weekend with loved ones also. Nikki originally posted the short video in view of her 12,300 followers and explained she had been on BBC Radio 5 Live to speak about International Women's Day. It is clear from their social media feeds the pair support each other's work massively and how much they adore one another. Back in 2012, Nikki spoke about how she became a DJ and some of the responses she has received to her career, as well as some of the acts she has worked with. The world-renowned music producer said, I grew up in an amazing era of music for dance and for hip-hop and the DJ was integral to that. I can't even explain it, but I started going to clubs at 14 and I just knew I wanted to DJ, she told Sophie Eggleton.